चलो विल गो टू एस ट्वेंटी सेवन विच इज ऑन ज्वाइंट वेंचर्स नाउ दिस इज अगेन अ न्यू टॉपिक देर आर अराउंड फोर और फाइव प्रॉब्लम ओवर हियर विच द इंस्टीट्यूट एज एडेड इन द स्टडी मटेरियल देर आर क्वाइट अ फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स सो वील ऑल्सो डिस्कस दोस एग्जाम्पल्स एंड जस्ट ट्राई टू रैप अप इफ पॉसिबल टूडे देर आर लॉट सोल्यूशन अपियर टू बी बिग बट अ लॉट ऑफ दैट इज वेरी वेरी रिपीटेटिव सो वी कैन इवन डिस्कस इट वेर रिक्वायर्ड ओके सो इट्स अ फेयरली easy chapter a bit of theory so let's get started so we look at as the accounting for what we call as joint arrangements so the financial reporting of interest in joint ventures so if i look at joint arrangements in general so i think you can you can even note down the theory over here we have not kept it separately for other topics you had separate theory, theory i think uh for this it's better if you kind of jot down a few charts so over here we have something called as joint arrangements now when do you say that there is a joint arrangement like when do you say there is control when do you say there is a subsidiary relationship you said there is subsidiary relationship when there is a control when do you say that there is control if you have more than 50% stake for example when do you say there is an associate relationship we say sir when it is a significant influence when do we say there is a significant influence when there is more than or equal to 20 all the way up to 50% stake but now that leaves you quite open when do you think will there be a joint venture or a joint arrangement because less than 20 so there is no influence between 20 to 50 there is significant influence so associate ban gaya above 50 subsidiary ban gaya so where is the room left for the purpose of joint arrangement there's no room only for we say joint venture chalo theek hai but when is it a joint venture because if i measure joint venture based on a stake you will not be able to figure out because less than 20 is no influence no control 20 to 50 significant influence associate more than 50 is control subsidiary there is no space left for joint venture so when does there be a joint venture relationship if there is a contractual ar arrangement there needs to be a contractual arrangement the stake is not important there needs to be a contractual arrangement where there is joint control this joint control arises from a contractual arrangement like in politics do we understand what is meant by alliances yes, yes. if you are tracking politics nitish kumar from bihar again jump so that is an alliance right so when you look at an alliance like in maharashtra earlier we had discussed this there was a maharashtra vikas agadi government which was made up of ncp shiv sena as well as congress and bjp which was the party which has the highest votes was sitting in the opposition but then we were saying that who is jointly controlling the maharashtrian government it was all the three we cannot say ke bhai one is controlling one is significant influencing no they had entered into a contractual arrangement in a way whereby they had agreed that they will vote together and that gives rise to a joint venture <coughs> are we understanding it like for example if there was hero who was holding 26% stake honda was holding 26% stake and both of them have contractually agreed well 26 26 gives you significant influence however they have contractually agreed ke bhai we will vote together all the decisions of hero honda limited we will take together so 26 and 26 gives you 52% and as a result at 52% stake you can outvote every other shareholder but honda alone cannot do anything hero alone cannot do anything but both of them together can decide and hence joint control should exist significant influence alag hota hai joint control alag hota hai sir what do you mean by joint control it means mere akele se kuch nahi ho sakta i alone cannot do anything but mere bina bhi kuch nahi ho sakta without my vote also nothing can happen are yes or no there is significant influence i can just have an influencing say i cannot control whether individually or jointly are we understanding what is meant by joint control briefly yes. acha now joint control can be documented in one of the three types in my opinion the third one is the most important if it comes in the exam in my opinion by and large the third one is the most important so there are three different bifurcations in case of joint control there can be jointly controlled 
operations. Then there is jointly controlled assets. And then lastly, there is jointly controlled, there is jointly controlled entities. <coughs> Are we clear with this? So jointly controlled operations, jointly controlled assets and jointly controlled entities. So what do you mean by jointly controlled operations? Loosely speaking and this can come probably as an MCQ as well. Loosely speaking, this means two parties are coming together, but they are not contributing any new assets. They are working with their own assets only. They are not owning any assets jointly. There is no separate entity in the middle. So over here, there is no separate entity. What do you mean by no separate entity? When you look at Tata and Starbucks, they have come together to form Tata Starbucks Private Limited. As a separate company, Singapore Airlines and Tata Airlines have come together to form, let us say, Vistara. Vistara Limited is a separate company. Are you Is that a jointly controlled operation? No, that is a jointly controlled entity because there is an entity sitting in the middle. What do you mean by jointly controlled operations? I am running my CA coaching business. Someone else is running, let us say, some other type of coaching business, maybe some USCP or someone. And then let us say, we say ke, we will continue to run our common operations. But if, let us say, there are certain students who want to do both or you will refer to me, I will refer to you, something of that sort, for example, we have not formed a separate company in the middle. We don't own any assets together. Neither have we owned any assets together. I am running my operation using my assets. You are running your business using your assets. But maybe there are some, isko apan FMK language mein synergy bolte. You understand synergy? Synergy is 2 plus 2 equals 5. 2 plus 2 is two separate entities working separately is 4. But when they come together, maybe they have much stronger over, so maybe 2 plus 2 is 5. So over here we are saying ki bhai kaam karte, we will set up a particular thing. Uh, where let us say <coughs> a CA student wants to do CPA. If a CPA student wants to do CPA, to sambal. If a CA student wants to do CA, main sambalunga. But there are some overlaps between CA and CP or CA and CFA. So I say that for such a student, CA angle I will handle. The additional part of CFA you will handle. We are not contributing any new assets. We are not contributing. Sir, but what about the revenue? Ha, to our agreement that we will share revenue equally. Or expenses. Uh, that's it. So that's a jointly controlled operation. Accounting over here should be fairly easy. In your CA foundation, remember, I don't know whether it's still there or not. There was a chapter called a joint venture, did you? Consignment, joint venture. But joint venture was not there. If, so, chalo, take it. so over here, you might have, let us say, a separate joint venture. You might not have a separate entity, but you can always have a record, right? You can say that the students who have done CA and CFA both. Uska total kitana, achha, this is my total overall jointly controlled. See, I might have a 100 rupees CA operation. He might have a 200 rupees CFA operation. Saath mein milke, there are some students worth, let's say, 20 rupees. Jinno ne dono ki hai. So, for that 20 rupees, how much should the revenue, how much is the expenses? Assets, remember, will be recorded in each respective company's books. Mere asset, mere books mein, unke assets, unke books mein. But there are no jointly controlled assets. Sir, what do you mean by jointly controlled assets? In the second case, you don't have a separate entity. But you buy together a separate classroom. You say, by South Mumbai, mein, there are a lot of people who want to do both, for example. So, let us both invest 50-50 rupees and buy a classroom jointly. Sir, what is the name of the agreement? Mein dono ka naam. My name as well as the other party's name. So, the asset is jointly controlled. We have not, we have not incorporated a separate entity in the middle. But the asset is jointly owned. Generally, it phases. Mein jata. Jointly controlled operations at the early stage. Then if things are going well, I will buy assets. And then if things are going really well, I will set up a company and do the working using the company setup. And as a result, there is a jointly controlled asset. When I look at jointly controlled asset as well, there is no separate 
entity even over here however there are assets which are jointly owned have you heard about assets being jointly owned if you go to your society and you look at the name plates you will find some people jahan pe do do naam hai if you were to go and open their balance sheets let's say 1 crore ka flat hai you open their balance sheets do you think the 1 crore flat will appear in both people's books no depending on their share 50 lakhs of flat will appear in the first party's books 50 lakhs of flat will appear in the second party's books so over here plus assets which are jointly owned acha over here there are no assets jointly owned are we clear with this to be honest the first two parts don't pose any significant challenge when it comes to the accounting in the first part that is a jointly controlled operation you can prepare a consolidated working for that operation ke bhai okay students have done ca and cf both what is the total number of students revenue from them etc but ultimately the assets and liabilities will be each individual asset and liability in each individual company's books in the second acha revenue expenses sir it will be allocated in the ratio if you have agreed ke bhai 70% mera 30% tera then 70 30 50 50 70 80 20 whatever ratio we have mutually agreed in a jointly controlled asset as well asset is jointly owned so that asset has to be proportionately recorded in each company's books are barabar kya nahi but then revenues expenses whatever is the agreed ratio you will segregate it are yes or no now institute if it asks in my understanding the last one is the most important one in my understanding where there's a separate entity sir kyu last one because in the first two na कंसोलिडेशन का कोई रोल ही नहीं है बिकॉज इवन इफ देर इज नो कंसोलिडेशन दैट यू आर स्टडिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन सी ए फाइनल इंटर स्टिल जॉइंटली कंट्रोल्ड एसेट्स एज यू टोल्ड मी इवन विदाउट बिफोर डिस्कसिंग के भाई फ्लैट इज इन टू पीपल्स नेम इट विल बी रिकॉर्डेड फिफ्टी फिफ्टी इन बोथ बुक्स इट विल बी रिकॉर्डेड इन बोथ बुक्स इन द सेपरेट फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इफ आई सब्सिडरी तो कंसोलिड स्टेटमेंट में भी इट विल बी रिकॉर्डेड The problem will only arise in the last case where there's a separate entity in the middle. There's a separate legal barrier. So, what is that? What is that? In the first two cases, so what is that? In the first case, so there is no separate entity only. There is no jointly owned asset as well. We use everything that we are having is in our own respective balance sheet. In the second case, when you have a jointly controlled asset, for example, again there is no entity in the middle, but there are certain assets which are jointly owned. You will segregate that. In the third and the last case. when you look at jointly controlled entity in this case there is a separate legal or otherwise entity sir legal or otherwise ka kya matlab hai are separate entity can be a company it can also be like a partnership firm but it's a separate entity and we can say assets <coughs> are in the name of that entity not individual partners name not the joint name but in the name of that entity are we clear with this acha when i look at both of these cases when we look at the accounting you will attribute everything in the agreed ratio in the separate financial statements and by default through the separate financial statements also in the consolidated financial statements do we understand this hello 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 yes so this will come both in the separate financial statements as well as consolidated so over here assets liabilities incomes slash expenses in the agreed ratio acha remember if there are individual assets which are in my name they will directly come in my books only in the agreed ratio <coughs> in sfs separate financial statements into bracket since 
effect is in SFS, comma, by default, it would also come in CFS, sir, by default meaning, well, if it is there in SFS, automatically its effect will come in the CFS as well, because SFS when your balances that they come in the CFS, CFS consolidated finance statements, SFS is standalone or separate finance statements. Ajay. But when we go to jointly controlled entities, you need to follow what is called as, Ajay, you guys tell me, there are three things that you have studied till now. First, if I am making investment of 5 lakh rupees, let us say I have invested 5 lakh rupees in a company, let us say I am Tata, Starbucks is a US company. Starbucks has invested 5 lakhs, I have invested 5 lakhs. How will that appear? Well, one option is it will be shown as investment as per a standard called as accounting standard 13, AS 13. What does AS 13 says? Current investments to be shown at cost or fair market value, whichever is lower. Long term investments to be shown at cost only, less permanent decline in value if any. So, if I am having a jointly controlled entity, there is an entity in the middle and I am making investment in that entity. So, in my separate financial statements, I will show investment in Tata Starbucks Limited. Separate financial statements. Why? Because there was no separate entity only. So, direct asset we saw. But in the third case, there is a separate entity in the middle. If there is a separate entity in the middle, SFS is separate finance statements, my statement separate from some other entity statements. So, I will show investment in Tata Starbucks as an investment. In the consolidated financial statements, what do you guys think? Will I do full consolidation? Let us say Tata Starbucks has 10 lakh rupees and using 10 lakh rupees it has acquired let us say a flagship store in Mumbai. Let us say it is a first store for example, of 10 lakh rupees. What do you guys think? This store is in the name of Tata Starbucks Limited, which is a separate company from Tata, which is a separate company from Starbucks. When I am in the Tata consolidated balance sheet, I will consolidate Tata Steel, Tata Motors, everything. What do you guys think? Can I do full consolidation? No. Of, can I do full consolidation? No. You are saying no, why no? I do not have control. For me to consolidate, consolidate means I will do whatever I If you want to sell that entire store, you can't. You need Starbucks also to approve. If Starbucks wants to sell the store again, they can't. So, to say full consolidation because I am controlling, that is not correct. I am not fully controlling. We will follow equity method. Equity method of significant influence that we did in the earlier class. Where we say, okay, I will show this as investment only, but I will add my share of the profits. But are you merely influencing <coughs> or are, you are also jointly controlling? So, to show this, to show this, let us say using equity method may also not be the best way. Because then you are saying, okay, okay, influence SI, okay, but it is not influence. No, it is not even control, it is not even influence. Then what do you do? A way out would be to follow what is called as proportionate consolidation method. What do you mean by proportionate consolidation? We say by jointly controlled asset, what do we do? We have taken 5 5 lakhs proportionately. In a similar way over here, in a similar way over here, we will also take this 5 5 lakhs of assets. Do we understand this? So, over here, when we are looking at <coughs> When we are looking at this situation for jointly controlled entity, you will have in the SFS, you will show investment in joint venture. This will be as per accounting standard 13. Usually, these are not current investments. These are usually long term investments. Joint venture three and up less than 12 months ke liye karte usually. So, these are usually long term investments which are to be shown at cost. Cost 
लेस परमानेंट डिक्लाइन इन वैल्यू दिस इज एज पर एस थर्टीन इफ यू हैव नॉट डन एस थर्टीन यू विल स्टडी दिस एट लेंथ ओवर हियर सो दिस इज इन दी एस एफ एस वेन आई गो टू द सी एफ एस कंसॉलिडेटेड फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट वॉट डू वॉट डिड वी से विच मेथड विल बी फॉलो प्रपोर्शनेट कंसॉलिडेशन अच्छा वॉट आर द फीचर्स ऑफ प्रपोर्शनेट कंसॉलिडेशन देर सिमिलर फीचर्स टू फुल कंसॉलिडेशन That is, in full consolidation, you take over 100% of assets and liabilities. You are also you take over assets and liabilities. If the Tata Starbucks has five lakhs in land and building, two lakhs in machinery, uh, one or two lakhs in furniture, one or two lakhs in air conditioner, har ek ka we will do proportion in our in our final books of account. we will again do the same chalo i hope the audio is better now so we were discussing about proportionate consolidation having features which are similar to full consolidation like in full consolidation 100% of assets and liabilities are consolidated in, pro in proportionate consolidation proportionate pro rata assets and liabilities are consolidated so if starbucks uh, india uh, tata starbucks india had various assets like building machinery plant furniture proportionately 50 50 or whatever is the agreed ratio will be consolidated think and tell me will there be any minorities interest like you have full consolidation minorities interest in proportionate consolidation will there be any minorities interest why no because both of them are both no because i have consolidated to the extent of my share only why was minority coming because i had only 60% stake whereas i was taking over assets worth 100 here if hypothetically if i have a 60% stake i am taking over assets and liabilities worth 60% only yes. so out of those assets i own nothing to anyone else yes. you have consolidated my share of assets only so there will be no minorities yes. otherwise things would broadly remain the same if you know full consolidation method you will by default no partial consolidation method assets and liabilities should be taken over even uh, uh, your share in post acquisition reserves to be taken over pre acquisition reserves to be used for the purpose of goodwill calculations or how will there be goodwill investment will be eliminated and assets and liabilities will be taken over so over here you will have proportionate acha ya fir you put a separate note only so there will be a note on full consolidation on proportionate consolidation so over here when is proportionate consolidation applicable proportionate write down consolidation when is it applicable in case of jointly controlled entities if there is a new entity in the mid acha what are the key features of proportionate consolidation assets slash liabilities comma incomes slash expenses r proportionately r <coughs> proportionately consolidated are we clear with this point 2 no minority interest created into bracket since assets etc of our share only taken since assets etc of our share only taken
other adjustments like consolidating our share in post acquisition profits continue to remain the same continue to remain the same are we clear with this chalo we'll do a few problems over here go to question number 1 <coughs> go to question number 1 let us review i think page number 292 these are same as a institute study material illustrations examples cases if any to be separately done we can separately discuss but over here the practical questions in the institute study material and illustrations are discussed so let us review this mr a mr b and mr c solutions are given here only for your reference mr a mr b and mr c entered into a joint venture to purchase a land construct and sell flats theek hai so a b and c are coming together to purchase land and construct and sell flats on that mr a purchased land kisne purchase kiya it is not purchased by a separate entity in the middle it is not jointly held it is purchased by mr a for rupees 60 lakhs on 1st january 11 and for this purpose he took a loan from a bank of rupees 50 lakhs so basically mr a took a loan of 50 lakhs and purchased a land worth 60 lakhs at 8% interest he also paid registration fees of 60000 on the same day theek hai mr b supplied materials for 4 lakh 50 from his godown and further he purchased and further he purchased materials for 5 lakhs for the joint venture so some materials they have supplied and they purchased for joint material a uh, for joint venture mr c met all other expenses of advertising labor and other incidental expenses which turned out to be 9 lakhs this is all done by mr c on 30th june 2011 that is 6 months later each of the venturer agreed to take away one flat to be valued at 10 lakhs each and the rest were sold by them as follows mr a for 40 lakhs mr b 20 lakhs and mr c 10 lakhs so it's like three of us come together i say here i will put in the capital buy the land you say i will bring in the materials like cement etc and the third party says everything else i will do so we'll construct the building and we will take one one flat in each but the remaining flats we will sell abhi किसका कितना किसको जाएगा दैट विल बी म्यूचुअली डिसाइडेड इफ एस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड मोर यू विल गेट मोर इन द सेल प्रोसेस सी एस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड लेस यू विल गेट लेस वॉट एवर इज म्यूचुअली डिसाइडेड लोन वॉज रीपेड ऑन द सेम डे बाई मिस्टर ए दैट इज सिक्स मंथ्स लेटर सो इंटरेस्ट विल बी फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स फिफ्टी लैक्स इंटू एट परसेंट दैट इज फोर लैक्स इंटू सिक्स बाई ट्वेल्व सो प्रोबली टू लैक्स ऑफ इंटरेस्ट अलॉन्ग विथ इंटरेस्ट एंड द नेट प्रोसीड वर शेयर बाय द पार्टनर्स इक्वली ओके सो वॉट एवर इज the net profit will be shared equally you are required to prepare the draft consolidated pnl consolidated pnl which means the joint venture pnl consolidated means not just as pnl not just b's pnl but the joint venture pnl so over here this is the joint venture how will you do that like you do in foundation you will put all the expenses that are there and again that you will put all the incomes if there is any profit that profit will be shared equally you are required to prepare consolidated profit and loss and the joint venture account in the books of each venturer we will see how to record in the books of each venturer but first let us at least prepare the joint venture account i mean you can even refer what is given i'll just do that for reference this is question number 1 so if i look at consolidated profit and loss barabar acha yahan pe sir do i need to prepare the schedule 3 format no Mr. A, Mr. B, Mr. C. Where is company? 
इफ यू वॉन्ट यू प्रिपेयर रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम ऑपरेशन अदर इनकम वो करे बट ऑल दैट इज रिक्वाइड इफ दर्स अ कंपनी अदरवाइज यू कैन डू इन टी फॉर्मेट एज वेल सो ओवर यूर इफ आई लुक एट द कंसॉलिड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट दिस इज द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस फॉर द ज्वाइंट वेंचर कि भाई वेंचर तीनों ने साथ में मिलके किया वॉट इज अ प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस ओवर देयर सो ऑल द कॉस्ट यू विल पुट ऑन द डेबिट साइड फर्स्ट इज लेट अस है टू द परचेज ऑफ लैंड सो द पेमेंट इज मेड फॉर द परचेज ऑफ लैंड वॉट इज द टोटल अमाउंट सिक्स लैक्स एट द एंड ऑफ द डे लैंड कॉस्टेड सिक्स लैक्स ये किसने पे पे किया ए अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी हैव टेकन अ लोन बट लोन इज टेकन लोन इज रिपेड लोन पर से इज नॉट अ कॉस्ट इंटरेस्ट ऑन द लोन इज कॉस्ट सो इंटरेस्ट विल कम लोन पर से विल नॉट कम हिट सो सिक्सटी लैक्स इज डन ही टू का लोन दैट्स फाइन एंड ही पेड इंटरेस्ट एट द रेट ऑफ एट परसेंट सो अगर अपने को चाहिए तो यहां पर इंटरेस्ट भी बोल सकते हैं टू इंटरेस्ट अगेन दिस इज पेड बाई ए वर्किंग वुड बी फिफ्टी लैक्स इंटू एट परसेंट इंटू सिक्स बाई ट्वेल्व कम्स टू हाउ मच टू लैक्स Apart from that, he also paid registration fee of sixty thousand on the same day. Two registration fees. This is a cost for the joint venture. But pay who did it? A. So all of this, A is paying on behalf of the venture. <coughs> We supplied materials for four lakh fifty. So if you see sixty six lakhs, and here pay Mr. Eka two lakhs. B supplied materials worth four lakh fifty. From his go down and further purchase materials of five lakhs. At the end, he supplied materials costing nine lakh fifty. So this is two materials. Who is supplying that materials? Three. You can pass two separate entries or five plus four lakh fifty. Nine lakh fifty. Are बराबर क्या नहीं? Okay. So this is done, Mr. C. Incurred all other expenses like advertising, labor, incidental expenses, which totals up to so two other expenses, which is paid by C, totals up to nine lakhs. Okay, this nine lakhs is done on thirtieth June. Each of the venture agreed to take away one flat. Okay, to be valued at ten lakhs each. And Mr. A, B, and C are going to get forty, twenty, and ten otherwise. So this is by sales, by sales, attributable to A, B, and C. First, you will have ten lakhs to each of them. Apart from that, what does the question say? Each uh, the, these are ventures taking over flat and the rest were sold by them as follows by Mr A forty lakhs B twenty lakhs and C at ten <coughs> lakhs by proceeds yeah fir by proceed ha huh, for the venture it is like I am giving the flat against what uh, they have bought in by proceeds. From other flats. Again, A, B, and C. How much is that? Forty, twenty, and ten. Now, I think that's it. So, if I total this up, this would be what? Forty, twenty. That is sixty, seventy, seventy, and this is what one crore. And if I total up the expenses as well and find the net profit, <coughs> eighteen lakh. Is the question telling you what is to be done with this profit? And net proceeds were shared by the partners equally. So over here, this is. To profit, but यार ये profit A, B and C अपने को partnership का दिन याद आ गया। We do similar thing, one third, one third, one third. There could have been a different ratio as well. 
सिक्स लैख थर्टी सिक्स लैख थर्टी सिक्स लैख थर्टी टोटल अप टू एटीन लैख नाइंटी Are we clear with this? Yes. Okay. So over here, if you go to see, all of these taken care of. So first, you had to prepare the consolidated P&L account. Very easy. We scale it up. I don't think a full-fledged exam question is warranted. It's more like a foundation type of adjustment. And second, the joint venture account in the books of each venturer. So let us say in the books of A. In the books of A. If I were to prepare a joint venture account, so I'm trying to say in the books of A that how much is coming to me on account of this joint venture? How much am I spending? How much is coming to me on account of this joint venture? बराबर अच्छा so over here you will say A is contributing. Uh, 50 lakhs, it is taking a bank loan and buying the land, and for another 10 lakhs, it is contributing from its own pocket. So 10 lakhs, so its own pocket is going to the bank, to bank, and otherwise, 50 lakhs is coming from uh, bank money at the end of the day. This is to bank slash loan, whatever you call it, to bank slash loan. At the end of it. A is contributing 60 lakhs. Koi bolta hai ki nahi sir, A is contributing only uh, 10 lakhs. But ultimately, A is paying 50 lakhs. A is repaying loan worth 50 lakhs. And as a result, 50 plus 10 institute has shown both of them separately. We are saying it's not necessarily needed at the end of the day for the land. Uh, A is getting, A is paying 60 lakhs. Again for registration fees. So sir, what are we doing? देखो usually अपन entry क्या pass करते हैं? Listen, usually what do we pass? Entry registration expenses account debit to bank. We'll pass the entry advertising expenses account debit to bank. We'll pass the entry materials account debit to bank. But these materials are not spent for my operation directly. It is spent for the joint control operation. And as a result, my entry would be instead of like in realization when you Pass entry for realization expenses. You pass realization account debit to bank. You don't pass expenses account debit to bank, na? No? You say, "Chhi ke realization account banana hai, to every item will go through that." In a similar way, you are spending fifty, ten, sixty thousand for interest. Everything that you are spending is spending towards the joint venture. So over here, to bank, this is for the registration fees. In the books of accounts, journal entry, koi puchega, to koi bolega ke registration fees account debit to bank. We will say, "Nahi, nahi, nahi." This registration fee is for the joint venture arrangement. So let us take all expense, everything in the joint venture only. So this is sixty thousand. Then again to bank for the interest. What is A paying for the interest? How much is that? Two lakhs. Two lakhs. <coughs> Are we getting this? But other than that. What is A getting? Well, it is he is getting a flat in return, an actual flat. So let us say by land and building or whatever you call by building worth ten lakh. This is one flat which is allotted to A itself, and as a result, this will be ten lakhs. And apart from that, they are also getting some proceeds from the sale of flats. So this is sale of flats. Ideally, the entry would be bank account debit to sales, but this is not my sales; it is the joint operation sales. So everything goes in the joint venture account. Only a ka part will go. Forty lakhs. Now comes a slight problem. Is there anything else in the joint venture that is coming attributable to A? Perfect. Ye ho gaya apka. Just a second. This is done. 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 This is also done. This. So what is the only thing remaining? Profit. अच्छा प्रॉफिट ओवर हियर इज गोइंग टू बी एट्रीब्यूटेबल टू ए सो ए गेट्स अ प्रॉफिट इन द जॉइंट वेंचर सो दिस इज द प्रॉफिट विच इज एट्रीब्यूटेबल टू ए बट ए को ये देगा कौन दिस विल बी फ्रॉम द जॉइंट वेंचर इज नॉट अ सेपरेट एंटिटी सो वॉट एवर इज रिसीवेबल और पेबल विल कम फ्रॉम बी एंड सी बट हाउ मच विल बी पे हाउ मच विल सी पे वी डोंट नो सो वॉट विल डू इज यस वी विल टेक द प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम द जॉइंट वेंचर 
but we will also do the working to know that how much is the allocation coming from each of them. So over here, let us say two profit from JV. So I'll say at the end of the day, Deco, what what is the logical thing? At the end of the day, we are saying that from what I did, I should get one, two, three, four back. I should be getting sixty lakh plus. 60,000 plus 2 lakhs plus 6 lakh 30. I should be getting 68 lakh 90,000 back. I have 68, 90 dala hua hai, including the profit, but I have received 10 and 50, 10 and 40, that is 50. So remaining I should receive. But from whom will I receive? Well, some of it will be received from B some of it will be received from C. So, kitna hoga? Well, we don't know. We will have to find that by preparing B and C is working. Are yes or no? It is also possible that you are going to receive only from B and B is going to pay to both C and A. We don't know. So, here this is in the books of A. Then you go similarly. In the books of B, again joint venture account. Now, you will guide me here kya kya aana chahiye. to bank and to materials so this is to bank i am purchasing materials i think how much worth of materials am i purchasing no wo total hai but in my books to bank i am paying i think 5 lakhs or 4 lakh 50 do cheez hai total is 9 lakh 50 made up of further purchased 5 lakhs and 4 lakh 50 transfer from your materials so this is 5 lakhs ka purchase to materials in my ledger, I am transferring the materials to the joint venture. So joint venture account debit to materials. How much is that? 4 lakh 50. Total comes to 9 lakh 50. Against that, what is B getting? Some building worth 10 lakhs. What is B getting? Some proceeds in the bank. So this is on account of sale. How much is that? But B also needs to get some profit from the JV. How much is that? So if I go to see ideally, B needs to get what? Just a second, 9 lakh 50 and 6 lakh 30. Needs to get 50 and 80, but he's already got 30. He has to give something to someone. So over here, this is 30. This is 30 and hence there is a balancing figure to bank. I'll have to pay. Achha, payment kisko karne ko aega generally? A to bank into bracket paid to A. Like in partnership, if you remember, abhi to C enter pe hai nahi, but in partnership, sometimes for settlement, closing of partnership, one partner has to pay the other partner. Something like that. So if I take the balancing figure over here, kitna hai? 14 lakh but is that sufficient maybe the remaining should come from C. let us try you are in the books of C and again you have the joint venture account To bank this is for other expenses 9 lakh by building 10 lakhs by bank this is sale proceeds how much is that 10 lakhs and there is some profit from joint venture Six lakh thirty. So all expenses are attributable into the joint venture account, and then if I try to balance, ideally I should have received nine fifteen thirty, but I have received twenty. So jo extra hai, I need to pay it to the other partner. 
usually when you used to do in your ca foundation used to prepare a big ledger if you remember partnership ka with partners so this is balancing figure how much is that where will this go to bank into bracket paid to a 4 lakh 70 see if this does tally yes sir 18 lakh 90 so if when you are revising you can see asterisk mark 1 where did 1420 come from sir over here where did 470 double asterisk come well this came from here we done yes okay so that takes care of question number 1 next you go to question number 2 go to question number 2 A limited, B limited, and C limited decided to jointly construct a pipeline to transport gas from one place to another that was manufactured by them. Vapas A, B, and C decided to jointly construct a pipeline. So you are jointly constructing a pipeline. ऐसा नहीं कि मेरा pipeline है जो use हो right? It seems so this first one if you want you can write down next to this this is first question this is jointly controlled what operations no entity even assets are not uh, kind of bought jointly they are bought in the individual names acha <coughs> illustration number 2 Now A, B, and C decided to jointly construct a pipeline to transport gas from one place to another that was manufactured by them for the for the purpose. Following expenditure was incurred by them: building at twelve lakhs to be depreciated at five percent, <coughs> pipeline sixty lakhs to be depreciated at fifteen percent, computers at three lakhs to be depreciated at forty percent, and various vehicles of nine lakhs to be depreciated at twenty percent. Okay. they also decided to equally bear the total expenditure incurred on the maintenance of the pipeline that comes to 6 lakhs so if the total expenditure is 6 lakhs and they have agreed to equally bear then what will be the share of each party 2 2 lakhs 1/3 1/3 each 6 lakhs divided by 3 you are required to show the consolidated balance sheet and the extract of statement of pnl and balance sheet for each venture to be honest yahan pe pura same hoega <coughs> you can do it for one that same extract will be appearing for b and c as well consolidated balance sheet means what the balance sheet of whom of joint venture they have not formed a separate entity in the middle the question acha sir how will we know it's a jointly controlled entity if they if the question says a b and c incorporate a company abc limited which constructs a pipeline jointly controlled entity every asset every liability in the books of abc limited but yahan pe it is a b and c decided to jointly construct a pipeline is a question telling you that you have incorporated a company no however in this particular case they have told you that they are jointly constru constructing a pipeline to transport gas from one place to another अभी यहां पर तो कुछ है नहीं ऑनसी डज इट अपेयर टू बी जॉइंटली कंट्रोल्ड ऑपरेशन एसेट और एंटिटी कैन बी एन एसेट बिकॉज आर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग पाइपलाइन जॉइंटली सो इट विल बी अंडर जॉइंट ओनरशिप इट इज नॉट लाइक दी अर्लियर क्वेश्चन वेर ए वॉज बाइंग लैंड यहां पे इट इज प्रॉबेबली जॉइंटली कंट्रोल्ड एसेट ऑल्सो पॉसिबल सो इफ आई लुक एट अच्छा यहां पर consolidated balance sheet must be the balance sheet of the joint venture so question 2 if i look at the consolidated balance sheet <coughs> the 
Now we are doing it in line with what the institute has done though an alternative presentation is very much possible. So if I prepare the consolidated balance sheet, what is the balance sheet? There is nothing, there are just assets and money contributed by each party to buy that asset and there will be some depreciation if any. अभी हमें प्रिपेयर भी जो करना है इट विल बी मोर और लेस एन एक्सट्रैक्ट सो इफ आई लुक एट द कंसोलिडेटेड बैलेंस शीट ओवर हियर यहां पे सी इफ आई टेक योर कैलकुलेटर्स वंस दिस इज व्हाट 12 लाख प्लस 60 लाख प्लस 3 लाख प्लस 9 लाख दिस इज 84 लाख इन टोटल Yes. But there will be some depreciation as well. Yes. So over here, upon <coughs> I say, we are not showing like reserves and stuff. It's not a company balance sheet. So maybe you can say that there will be, you can either prepare it in T format or vertical format. Question is prepared vertical format. You can very well prepare T format over here. There will be some capital. And then there will be some assets. Your assets are comprising of PP only. Yes. Now, if I look at PP, PP me kya hai building. building. How much is a building? Twelve lakhs. 12 lakhs. Mm -hmm. What is the rate of depreciation? Five, five, five. So this will be twelve lakhs. Original cost depreciation closing. So this is what sixty thousand. Then you have pipeline 60 lakhs. Depression is kitna percentage? 15 percent. So this is 9 lakh 51 lakhs. Nee, there is vehicles here. Kya hai? Other? How much is that? 3 lakhs 1 lakh 20 1 lakh 80 vehicles 1 lakh 80 7 lakh 20 so 11 40 51 1 lakh 80 7 lakh 20 comes to 71 lakh 40. So if I look at your property, plant and equipment, this comes to 71 lakh 40. Achha, each of this, you will segregate between A, B and C. If nothing is given in the equal ratio, so her ek item divide by 3. So over here, if I just go to C, the individual party share, okay, I mean, you don't, I mean, there is a printed solution given, so I am just doing this in rough for your understanding. But over individual share if i go to see for the depreciation so that wo pnl mein jaye and the individual share for the items so that wo consolidated balance sheet mein dikhe will be 11 lakh 40 divided by 3 <coughs> 3 lakh 80 51 divided by 3 17 lakhs 60000 2 lakh 40. If I total this up, just verify this once. <coughs> 2380. Similarly, depreciation individual share would be 20,000. 3 lakhs 40,000. If I total this up, sorry. If I look at the extract for each partner, what will come? Asset will come at 2380. Yes. Expenses will come at 4,20 for depreciation and 6 lakh divided by 3. That is 2 lakhs for maintenance. End of story. There is nothing else. There is just extract. If you want to show, capital will be shown as a balancing figure or kuch hai nahi. So, I mean, you can refer the solution institute ne to chale hi ja rahe because it is same for each company. Wo lagta bahut bada hai. Kuch hai nahi. So if you go to see over here, 71,40 for PP consolidated. 
1,40 शेयर कैपिटल और रादर यू कैन से पार्टनर कैपिटल अच्छा फॉर ईच ऑफ द एंटिटीज यू जस्ट शोन द ब्रेकअप बाय पीपी ईच ऑफ देम थ्री लैक एटी वी हैव सेड इंडिविजुअल शेयर 17, 17, 17 कंप्यूटर 60, 60, 2,40, 2,40, 2,40 बुक्स ऑफ ए डेप्रेशन एंड एमोडेशन फोर लैख ट्वेंटी डू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ फोर लैख ट्वेंटी के अदर ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस सर दिस इज सिक्स लैक्स डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री क्वेश्चन सर इट गोज इक्वली ओके सो दिस इज टू लैक्स वी क्लियर विद दिस अच्छा नेक्स्ट यू हैव प्रॉपर्टी प्लांट एंड इक्विपमेंट ट्वेंटी थ्री एटी एंड ओवर हियर दिस विल गो डिरेक्टली एंड यू विल जस्ट शो द ब्रेकअप लाइक डेप्रेशन इंडिविजुअली फोर लैख ट्वेंटी लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग का ब्रेकअप सेवनटीन लैक्स ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड वंस यू डू दिस दिस एग्जैक्ट सेम अच्छा सर इज इट नेसेसरी टेस्ट टू बी एक्जैक्ट नो यहां पे रेशो इज वन थर्ड वन थर्ड वन थर्ड एंड हेन्स इट इज एक्जैक्ट बट इज इट नेसेसरी दैट इट हैज टू बी एक्जैक्ट नो सो एक्जैक्ट सिंस द शेयर इज द सेम एक्जैक्ट सेम फॉर बी एंड सी इंटू ब्रैकेट सिंस द शेयर is the same are we clear with this dekho yahan pe 4 lakh 20 again 2 lakhs <coughs> 23 lakh 80 ka assets and you have the same thing so you can even skip reading this entire part that same applies even for c if you go to c same are we clear with this acha next we go to illustration number 3 let us review this once <coughs> now a limited a uk based company enters into a joint venture with b limited in india wherein b limited will import the goods manufactured by a on account of the joint venture and sell them in india wapas a a uk based company enter into a jv with b in india wherein b will import the goods manufactured by a and sell them in india <coughs> a lot of uh, dealerships distributors of cars etc do that so if you have ferrari lamborghini harley davidson they don't manufacture stuff in india but they will have a selling agent in india with whom they will enter a jv whereby the selling agent will buy these goods and then try to sell them in india A Limited and B Limited agreed to share the expenses and revenues in the ratio of five is to four respectively. So it has been to, told that the expenses and revenue will be shared in the ratio of five is to four. That has been given to us. <coughs> Whereas the profits are distributed equally. Once you derive the profits, that balancing figure of profit will be distributed equally. A Limited invests forty nine percent in the total capital, but has equal share in all the assets and is equally liable for the liabilities. so whatever is the total capital uska 49% is attributable to a 51% must be attributable to b but when i break up the assets and liabilities it will be equally so yahan pe multiple ratios are there we have to figure out which ratio for allocation to be used for which line item following is a trial balance of the joint venture at the end of the first year you have been given a separate trial balance for the joint venture अच्छा परचेसेस यू गाइस टेल मी इन विच रेशियो शुड परचेसेस बी स्प्लिट परफेक्ट इट इज एन एक्सपेंस इट विल बी स्प्लिट इन द रेशियो फाइव इज टू फोर अच्छा फाइव इज टू फोर यानी ए को कितना बी को कितना फाइव लैक्स बी इज फोर लैक्स अदर एक्सपेंसेस विच रेशियो थ्री लैक्स सिक्स One lakh seventy again. This is five is to four. One lakh seventy and sorry, one thirty six <coughs> sales. Again five is to four. Five 
फाइव लैख एट्टी पी पी श्योर नॉट फाइव इज टू फोर नॉट फोर्टी नाइन फिफ्टी वन नो दिस विल बी इक्वली वन इज टू वन सो दिस इज थ्री एंड थ्री करंट एसेट्स वन इज टू वन वन एंड वन अनसिक्योर्ड लोन्स इवन लाइबिलिटीज आर टू बी इक्वली स्प्लिट वन एंड वन करंट लाइबिलिटीज वन इज टू वन अगेन फिफ्टी फिफ्टी कैपिटल अगेन वन इज टू वन नो द क्वेश्चन टेल्स यू सो दिस इज एज पर म्यूचुअली अग्रीड सो ए इन्वेस्टेड फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट इन कैपिटल सो ओवर हियर दिस विल बी फोर्टी नाइन इज टू फिफ्टी वन सो दिस इज ए एंड बी फोर जीरो वन इन टू फोर्टी नाइन परसेंट वन फोर नाइंटी एंड बीस टू जीरो फाइव वन जीरो क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री वॉज वैल्यूड एट वन लैक दिस विल हेल्प यू इन द चेंजेस इन इन्वेंट्री वर्किंग डू हैव द डेटा रिगार्डिंग ओपनिंग इन्वेंट्री और एनीथिंग गिवन नो सो दिस विल गम इन द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इफ यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर द बैलेंस शीट एंड इफ आई प्रिपेयर द ट्रेडिंग एंड ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट दिस विल गो इन द चेंजेस इन इन्वेंट्री वर्किंग सो ओवर हियर यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू प्रिपेयर द कंसॉलिडेटेड फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट कंसॉलिडेट मीन्स कंबाइंड सो इफ आई लुक एट द कंबाइंड स्टेटमेंट आई विल प्रिपेयर द कंबाइंड पी एन एल एंड कंबाइंड बैलेंस शीट इट इज वेरी इजी बट देन इन द नोट्स आई विल शो द ब्रेकअप बिटवीन ए एंड बी सो इफ आई प्रिपेयर द पी एन एल वॉट आर द आइटम्स दैट गो इन द पी एन एल परचेज अदर एक्सपेंस सेल्स आई थिंक दैट सेट ओवर ह्योर एंड देर इज क्लोजिंग इन्वेंट्री इन द चेंजेस इन इन्वेंट्री वर्किंग आई थिंक दैट इज इट अच्छा Apart from that, when you prepare the balance sheet, what will come in the balance sheet? PP, current asset, unsecured loans, current liabilities, capital, as well as inventory, and then profit that comes. That profit will be taken. Now, honestly, this is 11th standard or 12th standard finalization of accounts. If you want, you can prepare it. Sir, to yahan pe joint venture ka role kya? When you prepare the notes to accounts. Like in notes, you will show the bifurcation that we did. So, do you want me to prepare the understandable? Okay. So when I look at revenue, consolidated P and L revenue from operation thirteen lakh five. I have total taken. But if I see the note seven twenty five five eighty, are we getting this seven twenty five five eighty? Similarly, less expenses, purchases are seven seven twenty five five eighty. Seven twenty five five eighty. Similarly, less expenses, purchases are nine lakhs. But nine lakhs is as you see five and four. This is one seventy one thirty six. This is nine. This is three zero six. Five and four, one seventy and one thirty six. Yes. So, apka your challenge is just this notes to accounts where you're just showing the breakup. Otherwise, finalized in to kuch hai nahi. Woh to very very basic. Acha next you have changes in inventory. This is one lakh. Sir, there will be two effects because it is in the notes. So, changes in inventory. If you go to see in the changes in inventory again, you will have. This fifty fifty because at the end of the day it is an inventory item. It is an inventory item. You cannot say that by inventory, my uh, five is to four me is going. Inventory is an asset. It is going to be split fifty fifty. Yes. Total is one lakh, but it is going to be split fifty fifty. This is the only point where you could have possibly made a mistake. Why? Because you will get stuck. You will say that chalo changes in inventory me opening minus closing. Ah, so closing is one lakh. This is going in the P and L account. So. But remember, closing stock is not an expense. It is just goods that you have purchased, which you have not yet sold. That's it. You can't show closing stock as an expense. Purchase is that under closing stock already here, and purchases you have segregated, and you have been told all assets have to go in the one is to one ratio. So that will include even the closing inventory at one is to one ratio. So this is one lakh, and hence your profit comes at one lakh ninety nine. Acha, when I prepare the balance sheet. सेम शेयर कैपिटल फोर लैक वन सर वन लैक नाइनटी नाइन कहां से आया दिस इज रिजर्व वट एवर प्रॉफिट इज अर्न दिस वन लैक नाइनटी नाइन कम्स ओवर हियर अच्छा देन यू हैव अनसिक्योर्ड लोन सेम टू लैक्स करंट लाइबिलिटीज पीपी इन्वेंट्रीज अदर करंट एसेट नाउ एवरीथिंग एक्सेप्ट शेयर कैपिटल विल बी स्प्लिट वन इज टू वन सो वेन लुक एट शेयर कैपिटल ओवर हियर ये देखो ये थोड़ा डिफरेंट रेशियो था इफ आई गो टू सी दिस इज फिफ्टी नाइन सॉरी फोर्टी नाइन फिफ्टी वन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिवाइज आप यहां पर सिर्फ इतना लिख के रखो एवरीवेर एल्स यू से फाइव इज टू फोर 
फाइव इज टू फोर फाइव इज टू फोर इन्वेंट्री कैन मार्क एज इम्पॉर्टेंट दिस इज एन एसेट एट द एंड ऑफ द डे एंड हेंस वन इज टू वन यहां पे एवरीथिंग एल्स प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस इक्वली लोन्स इक्वली करंट लाइबिलिटीज पीपी इन्वेंट्रीज एवरीथिंग इक्वली Are we clear with this? Acha, next is also printed as illustration three. It's actually illustration four. Write down illustration four. Okay, let us try this. A Limited entered into a joint venture with B Limited on a one is to one basis, and a new company C was formed for the same purpose. New company C was formed. So this is a jointly controlled entity. the appropriate method for accounting for this jointly controlled entity should be proportionate consolidation and following is a balance sheet of all the three companies so you have been given the share capital reserves loans current liabilities <coughs> pp investment in joint venture an important line item current assets prepare the balance sheet of a and b under the proportionate consolidation method now you have to prepare the balance sheet of a and b how will you prepare the balance sheet of a and b well you will proportionally consolidate but you have been told that the reserves are, uh, your uh, ratio is 1 is to 1 so can we say when i prepare the consolidated balance sheet of a i will take over pp of c 1950 के बदले नाइन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव हाफ ऑफ इट बट वेन आई प्रपोर्शनेटली कंसॉलिडेट द पीपी विल विल माई इन्वेस्टमेंट स्टिल अपियर और शुड दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट बी एलिमिनेटेड एलिमिनेटेड सो यू कैन डू इट इन मल्टीपल वेज आई विल डू इट फॉर ए इंस्टीट्यूट ने थोड़ा लंबे मैथड से किया हुआ है बट अदरवाइज वी कैन आई मीन इंस्टीट्यूट ने डायरेक्टली किया वी कैन ऑल्सो डू इट Uh, in a way that is comfortable. Otherwise, you can follow the same method that you did for consolidation. Consolidation, what do we do? Schedule three format. So over here, let us say question number four. You will have. I mean, there may be some other subsidiaries. We don't know. So you will have the balance sheet of Con. A Limited and its subsidiaries. Likte aise hi hai. If you even add joint ventures, still you write as subsidiaries. this will be consolidated balance sheet are we given the dates consolidated balance sheet as at whatever dot 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 okay now you can prepare the format and then in the format you will then have notes acha what did we do in notes first we have the share capital reserves and surplus and then so let's say there is a note for share capital there is a note for reserves and surplus and then all assets and all liabilities are barabar kare so over here there is particulars notes and rupees first you will have shareholders funds <coughs> no sorry equity and liabilities within which shareholders funds within which you have share capital i'm just writing this in short and reserves and surplus acha is there any non current liability over here loans are there so we'll assume these are non current liabilities non current liabilities long term borrowings let us say this is made up of loans institute has done is directly okay i'm doing it slightly longer point 3 is current liability There is no breakup given in the sense trade payables ki itna wo sab hai nahi. So we are skipping that. Acha, then you go to sub point two, which is assets. Is a PP given? Acha, then there is investment as well. But the point is, will the investment appear? No. And then there is current assets. Point two, there is. current assets acha 
नाउ यू विल ट्राई टू प्रिपेयर द नोट्स अच्छा वेन यू प्रिपेयर द नोट्स फर्स्ट इज शेयर कैपिटल अच्छा डू यू ऑल्सो कंसॉलिडेट द शेयर कैपिटल नो सो ओवर योर नोट वन शेयर कैपिटल we are not told how many shares of what face value we have just been told share capital is 10 lakhs remember you do not consolidate the share capital of subsidiary under full consolidation you will not consolidate the share capital of minor uh, of uh, joint venture under proportionate consolidation remember method is exactly the same upon yes, yes. same if process follow karke you will never go wrong just that you don't need working note 3 sir what is working note 3 uh, working note 3 is uh, minority so you don't need that because you're doing proportionate consolidation acha so over here this is note 1 note 2 reserves and surplus are we given some reserve balance yeah. like we have pnl general reserve aisa kuch diya is just a reserves and surplus given acha so what will we do we will say kaam karte we will we will prepare notes and we will say chalo jo bhi reserve aayega we will see in the working note note 3 note 3 we start at what share capital is note 1 reserves is note 2 long term borrowings loans acha loans a ka kitna hai loan 3 will you take that yes, yeah proportionate yes, yeah. full but then when i go to c what will i do Two lakhs into one by two or fifty percent, whatever it is, proportionate. Okay, if this was a subsidiary, then what would we have done? Full two lakhs and create a minority interest. So over here, this is one lakh, and hence this comes to what? Four lakhs. Point four is current liability A and C. How much is for A? <coughs> Four. And this is fifty thousand. Four lakhs, and then one lakh into fifty percent. This is fifty thousand. Four lakh fifty thousand. Point five is property, plant, and equipment. A entire thirty fifty, and for C. Nineteen fifty into one by two comes to. Acha, will investment in joint venture also come over here? No, <coughs> no in fact, it will go in what do, what do you call as working note two for goodwill workings. If any, sir, can there be goodwill in joint venture? Why not? When does goodwill come? When investments get eliminated instead of that assets and liabilities come. That can be full assets and liabilities hundred percent, or that can be proportionate assets and liabilities. Still, goodwill is possible. So this total comes to how much? Forty lakh twenty-five. Then is six current assets A and C. Two lakhs and twenty-five thousand. And this is fifty thousand into fifty percent. Yeah, then one by two. This is twenty-five. Two lakh twenty-five. Acha. you don't really need to do so much headache but nevertheless exam mein i don't think it will come at least as of now based on what it appears but if it comes you have consolidated reserves the full fledged working full proof would be you start with stand alone a how much is stand alone a <coughs> ye to aisa kaise sir ka leave around 2 3 lines then you go to working note 2 this is a goodwill working usually in goodwill working what do we say bhul gaye kya you start with investment rupees and rupees how much is a investment here 2 lakh 50 less share in net worth on acquisition date typically what you would do is you will take the equity share capital 50% of that will come here 50% will go to minority here will we create a minority no so we will directly take 50% of share capital of c this is 5 lakhs into 50% comes to 
नाउ कम्स अ चैलेंज यार प्रॉफिट ऑफ सी आर ट्वेल्व लैक्स बट वी डोंट नो वेदर दिस ट्वेल्व लैक्स इज अंड प्री एक्विजिशन और पोस्ट एक्विजिशन वर्किंग नोट थ्री डायरेक्टली आ जाते हैं दिस इज एनालिसिस ऑफ प्रॉफिट दिस इज अनालिसिस सेम वर्किंग हैपन्स अनालिसिस ऑफ रिजर्व यूजली वॉट डू यू डू यू स्प्लिट दिस बिटवीन प्री एंड पोस्ट एंड देन बिटवीन पेरेंट एंड माइनॉरिटी Here you will split it between pre and post. Find the total, not split between minority. That's it, sir. But we don't know twelve x is pre or post. Well, the way the language is given, first line, put a enter into joint venture with B on one to one basis, and a new company C was formed for the same purpose, which means A is holding stake in C from the date of incorporation. If A is holding C stake in C on the date of incorporation, tell me on the date of incorporation are there any reserves? No, it's a new company, which means जो भी बारह लाख कमाया है must be earned after the date of acquisition. It's a thumb rule that if you acquire stake from the date of acquisition on the date of acquisition, reserves would be nil, and as a result, everything that you have earned must be post the acquisition only. So all the twelve lakhs is post profits. Institute ने ये सब कुछ नहीं किया. They have done it directly. Which is fine over here because there are no adjustments. But like in a full subsidiary consolidation adjustment, there can be adjustments. The same can be asked for joint venture. So what we want to do is we want to have that process in our mind. Okay, if there are four adjustments, there are fair value adjustment, upstream, no, anything. We will follow the same process. If the subsidiary does not come, then God will save you. But then, if you know subsidiary by default, you know proportional consolidation. Except you will not prepare minorities. That's it. Are we clear with this? Write down below this. Working note three: analysis of reserves. Write down. <coughs> In this case, we have been given that A and B, that A and B acquired. Stake in a underline new company C stake in a new company C that is that is. at the date of incorporation full stop further comma further comma there are no reserves as on the date of incorporation and hence the entire the date of incorporation and hence the entire <coughs> 12 lakhs would be earned post acquisition so if you go to see this is total pre and post this is balance i'm writing this in short on the date of acquisition can i say on the date of acquisition there is no balance plus profits if any less dividends if declared if any there is no dividends as well and hence if the balance today इसको डीओसी बोलते हैं डेट ऑफ कंसोलिडेशन हाउ मच इज द बैलेंस टूडे ट्वेल्व लैक्स विच मीन्स दिस एंटायर ट्वेल्व लैक्स इज पोस्ट एंड इफ दिस इज पोस्ट वी विल से एट्रीब्यूटेबल टू लेट अस से ए अगेन फिफ्टी परसेंट सिक्स लैक्स अच्छा इसके आगे माइनॉरिटी वगैरह हम कुछ भी नहीं करेंगे सिमिलर वर्किंग यू कैन इवन डू फॉर बी इफ देर आर एनी एडजस्टमेंट्स विल इनकॉर्पोरेट द एडजस्टमेंट्स ओवर हियर एज वेल सो दिस सिक्स लैक्स विल गो 
प्लस शेयर इन पोस्ट प्रॉफिट्स ऑफ सी हाउ मच इज द शेयर इन द पोस्ट प्रॉफिट्स ऑफ सी सिक्स लैक्स एंड हेन्स इफ आई टोटल दिस ट्वेंटी फोर लैक्स सो इन रिजर्व एंड सर प्लस अच्छा इज एर एनी गुडविल ओवर हियर नो कैन देर बी गुडविल येस प्रॉबेबली आई हैव जस्ट इनकॉर्पोरेटेड द कंपनी सो इट डिड नॉट हैव एनी रेप्यूटेशन फॉर विच आई हैड टू पे बट इफ देर वॉज अ गुडविल ऑफ अ सो इफ आई एम एंटरिंग टू अ जॉइंट वेंचर ऑफ अ रेप्यूटेड कंपनी एंड प्रॉबेबली देर मैट बी गुडविल एज वेल सो ओवर हियर आई थिंक दैट्स इट इफ आई लुक एट रिजर्व एंड सर प्लस फ्रॉम वर्किंग नोट वन माई टोटल रिजर्व एंड सर प्लस कम टू ट्वेंटी फोर लैक्स एंड इफ आई पोस्ट दिस नोट वन शेयर कैपिटल टेन लैक्स रिजर्व ट्वेंटी फोर लैक्स लोन्स विल बी फोर लैक्स करंट लाइबिलिटी इज हाउ मच फोर लैक फिफ्टी पी पी इज सॉरी फोर्टी लैक ट्वेंटी फाइव टू लैक ट्वेंटी फाइव इफ आई ट्राई टू टोटल अप फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी डज इट टैली अच्छा कैन यू ट्राई सेपरेटली ऑन योर ओन फॉर बी एज वेल फॉर योर प्रैक्टिस यू कैन डू फॉर बी इफ आई गो टू सी द बैलेंस शीट ऑफ ए फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी देव डन दिस डिरेक्टली रिजर्व देव शोन बट ये सिक्स लैक्स यहां पर डायरेक्टली आ जा रहा है इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी एवरी टाइम इट कैन बी शो डायरेक्ट सो द फुल प्रूफ मेथड is a subsidiary method without minority interest working that is it and then you can try to do the working for b on the lines that you did for a yeah. <coughs> you want to discuss that or it's understandable understandable same base acha this was given as illustration number 4 acha next is illustration number 5 to be honest this illustration number 5 is from the practice section practical section of your study material and it is actually not an as 27 question only in my opinion it is more of an as 13 question accounting standard 13 question but nevertheless so they are asking what is to be done for an investment so let us review this and then we can jump up to the study material to see examples see about examples there is one particular case over there which is little tricky but otherwise the examples are fairly manageable more of theory mcqs etc okay let us review this now jvr limited <coughs> has made investments of 97.84 crores in equity shares of qsr limited ye bhi bhar ke aana thank you half hi bhar ke chalega <coughs> jvr limited has made investments of 97.84 crores in equity shares of qsr in pursuance of joint venture agreement till 11 12 so till date have invested 97.84 acha this 97.84 is invested in whom qsr limited acha is qsr limited a separate entity which means i will show this as investment in qsr in my sfs and i will do proportionate consolidation of qsr's assets and liabilities in my cfs does this make sense yes sir okay because it is a separate entity in pursuance of a joint venture agreement okay uh till 11 12 that is more than 12 months so the investment over here is like a long term investment the investment has been made at par <coughs> QSR has been in continuous losses for the last two years. JVR is willing to reassess the carrying amount of its investment in QSR. Here, but investment in QSR appears in which books? SFS or CFS? SFS. We just saw in the earlier question that by in CFS the investment gets eliminated. It is the assets and liabilities. So it is reassessing the investment carrying value of investment. It is in SFS. and wishes to provide for diminution in value of investment diminution is decrease in value of investments if you have not done as 13 you will study that long term investments will be shown at cost less permanent decrease in value emphasis on the word permanent 
mere day to day changes in market value are not called as permanent decreases in value if there is a per sir what do you mean by permanent decrease like if you look at a day to day change stock markets might go down the value of your share like sebi bans foreign investors from investing in certain sectors stock market goes down now that is not a permanent decline in value aapko usse kya lena dena you are broadly a home grown company you don't have any foreign investors but a permanent decline in value if you are tracking the news is if you have seen paytm ko now rbi has some given some restriction ke bhai you cannot accept deposit do this do that now aaj ab dekho 20% down on opening only trading stopped because now that is a permanent decrease in value ke bhai if my license does not come back if they cancel my license for example now i don't know too much of details so maybe you are in a better position but on a preliminary understanding if rbi were to cancel a banking license of a company like hdfc bank ko bola ki abhi tum banking hi nahi kar sakte ho to to that's a permanent decrease in value that is not a day to day up and down change in value are you understanding this so as 13 tells you that you can write off only a permanent decrease in value abhi permanent hai ya nahi hai that is highly subjective a day to day fall increase is not called as a permanent decrease in value one of the quarter's results are bad value falls other quarter results is good value increase that is temporary change in value are you yes or no <coughs> so i am reassessing the carrying value of my investment and wishes to provide for diminution in value okay so this is probably as 13 however qsr limited has a futuristic and profitable business plan acha to future mein i think there will be profit and the projection for the coming years discuss whether the contention of jvr to bring down the carrying value of investment in qsr is accordance with the accounting standard so they have given you a general answer they have said that in the past there have been continuous losses so if that points to a permanent decrease in value you can write off however the future outlook is a positive a uh, profitable outlook in which case this is a temporary decline in which case you should not write off that's it so it's of an as 13 i think ye galat jagah pe institute ne dal diya it's more of an as 13 thing rather than an as 27 so koi lena dena hai nahi there are a lot of things they have written so if you go to see over here at the end we can write a summary solution as well but if you see considering both facts in case the expectation of a profitable business plan and positive cash flow is based on reliable presumptions which are standards in favor of qsr strong order book the decline will be regarded as temporary and investment will continue to be carried at cost only however the aforesaid presumption can be based on projections if there are no reasonable evidence ke bhai profit kama payega backing the claims then the decline would be regarded as non temporary in which case writing down the carrying value would be necessary in line with as 13 implying a connection contention of qsr to be correct are we clear with this just write down a summary solution rather than using a too much technical language <coughs> write down as per as 13 as per as 13 comma long term investments would be carried at cost <coughs> less underline the words permanent diminution in value full stop next paragraph in the given case comma we are asked to comment on the carrying value of investment in qsr full stop qsr full stop qsr appears to be a joint venture
and in the CFS, investment would not appear. And instead, proportionate assets slash liabilities would appear. <coughs> Instead, proportionate assets slash liabilities would appear. Full stop. In case we need to comment on the investment comma we need to we need to <coughs> comment on sfs full stop next paragraph <coughs> in case in case the diminution due to losses is temporary considering considering the futuristic profitable outlook comma then no diminution is needed Full stop, however, comma, in case there is no evidence comma, then we can record a write off. in the SFS <coughs> as per AS 13 as per AS 13 okay so that takes care of these questions we'll go to the study material to discuss a few examples a lot of them are case based but we are discussing it just in case MCQs may have to Remember joint venture necessitates joint control, but joint control comes from contract or agreement where you are controlling and working together. However, if there is a lender who is giving you a loan, does he become your joint venture partner? No, sometimes a lender's agreement says that if you have to do merger, amalgamation, you have to take my permission. These are protective rights which are there with the lender. They do not make the lender your partner. Merely because lender has a right to stop your merger does not become mean the lender is your partner. Control is your ability to direct relevant activities. Lenders rights are protective rights. Isko jase Hindi mein bota na, tang adane wale rights. Lender cannot order ke tum ye karo. He can prohib prevent you from doing something that does not make him a partner. Are we clear with this? Okay. So if you look at example one. IDBI gave loan to the joint venture entity LNT and Tantia Construction. They signed an agreement according to which IDBI will be informed of all the important decisions of the joint venture entity. Fair enough. This agreement is to protect the rights of IDBI. So we just have to give information to IDBI. Does that mean IDBI is our partner, jointly controlling partner? No. <coughs> this agreement is to protect the rights of IDBI and hence just signing the contractual agreement will not make 
them a venturer. Are we clear with this? Second, X Limited invested 200 crores as initial capital along with Y and Z in GFH Limited. Okay. The purpose of X making this investment was to grow the business of GFH along with other investors. All investors have a right to attend the meetings and to take decisions with respect to the business of GFH. All investors are actively involved in running the business of GFH and have a share in the returns generated by GFH in an agreed proportion. Is GFH an example of joint venture? Yes. yes. GFH is a joint venture and XYZ are co-venturers. Are we clear with this? Acha. M Mr. A, B and company and C entered into a joint venture where according to the agreement all the policy making decisions on financing and operating activities will be taken in a regular meeting attended by them or their representatives. Okay, implementation and execution will be the responsibility of Mr. A. So Mr. A is like the manager. But does that mean Mr. A is controlling? No, it is joint control which is arising from the meeting. Mr. A is acting as a venturer as well as manager of the concern merely because he is responsible for execution does not make him a controlling party. Easy? Okay, so these are cases. Next, uh, again example 4 is there on I think your page uh, 137. We will just review this. These are examples. They are just giving you examples. It is not a question and answer but iske base pe MCQ can be formed. Mr. A who is a dealer in tiles and marbles and Mr. B who is a dealer in building materials like cements. And Mr. C, the promoter, enter into a joint venture business where the contract for construction receipt will be completed jointly. So, A will supply tiles, B will supply materials and C will look after the completion of construction. Is it a joint venture? Yes. <coughs> As per the contractual agreement, they will share any profit or loss in a predetermined ratio. None of them are using separate staff or other resources for the joint venture business and neither do they maintain a separate account. Everything is recorded in their personal business only. So there is no separate entity in the middle. In the GFH case there was an entity. Here yeah, there is no entity. Venturer does not maintain a separate set of books but they record their own transactions of joint venture business in their books. Any transaction of joint venture recorded separately is only for internal reporting. So like we made joint venture account that is only for internal reporting. I don't have to submit a tax return or anything for that joint venture. <coughs> Once all transactions are recorded in venture or statement, they don't need to be adjusted for in the consolidated statements. We had mentioned that in jointly controlled assets and jointly controlled operations, once all items are recorded in the individual accounts, automatically they will come in CFS. I don't need a separate adjustment. Sir, but we are preparing consolidated PNL. That must be for internal purposes. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Illustration 1, we are done. There is another example, example 5. Achha, ABC Limited, BP Limited and HP Limited have the same point of oil refinery and same place of customers agreed to spread a pipeline from their unit to the customers place jointly. Achha, have they made a company in the middle? No. no. But do they have a refinery? Yes. They agreed to share the expenditure on the pipeline construction and maintenance in the ratio of 3 to 3 to 4? And the time allotted to use the pipeline was and the, so some ratio for the joint venture. Each venture will record his share of joint assets as classified based on the nature of assets rather than an investment. So I will not show it as investment. Like when I buy a house with let us say my partner in my name, I will show the house based on the nature of the house. I will show pipeline. What does this sentence mean? That is, I will proportionately pipeline will be shown directly and I will not show investment because there is no separate entity in the middle. Yes, and any expenditure incurred will be recorded uh, with other items being similar to jointly controlled operation. So, same is this example. Achha, illustration uh, we have done. Achha, example of a jointly controlled entity, they have given you a huge example. But what, what is happening over here is there are three aerospace companies form a separate entity. In my opinion, answer ends here only. If there are three aerospace companies who are forming a separate entity Aero Limited to jointly manufacture, if they are forming an entity, then jointly controlled entity ho gaya. Then itana kahani baatne ka koi nahi. They will say one will do this, one will do this, 
Aero Limited is maintaining separate accounts, so be it. They are forming a separate entity. It becomes a jointly controlled entity, entity by and large. If you want, you can just for your reading pleasure uh, review all of that. But I think it is not required. <coughs> okay. So this is uh, then illustration three. Uh, this is some features. Acha. There is an example that they are mentioning over here on page 152. Mr. A enters into a joint venture with Mr. B and has contributed 33% of the PP and has share of 40% in current assets and current liabilities. Its share in the net result is 50% and the consolidated balance sheet will be prepared as follows. You have the balance sheet given. Achha, har ek number you have to split. Yes. If I have to prepare the breakup, for example, you have been told current and assets and liabilities in the ratio of 40 and 60. So this will be A and B. A ko ja raha hai how much? 40%. Na, ek 40% in assets and current assets and liabilities. So over here, this is 50,000 into 40 percent comes to what? 20. 20 and this is 30. PP is to be split in what ratio? 33. So that is two third, one third. So this is 25, 50. Current asset also in the ratio 40, 60. 40 will be what? I think 30,000 if I am not wrong and 45. So if you go to see, they go, yeah, yeah, 20, 30. Uh, <coughs> 50 and 25, 30 and 45. Achha, share capital kya hoga? Well, you have been told that they have contributed 33% and the share of profit. So, whatever come share capital, 1 lakh hai, individually, whatever you have contributed, 25 plus 30 minus 20 will be attributable to A and remaining will be attributable to B. Okay. So then that takes care of this working. Now this one illustration four is done. One example jo tricky hai. Transactions. Okay, this is the part. Now if this adjustment comes, the example upon dekhte on page number 158, we can do it in a multiple ways. But to understand this is a little tricky. Ek baar dekh lete iske alawa kuch aur hai nahi na. Thode bahut MCQs hai. And some theory questions. Okay, uh, so let us review this example. This is transactions between a venturer and a joint venture. Now, sometimes what might happen is, for example, there is A, there is a joint venture, which is like a partnership firm, and there is B. So, let's say there is A, there is a joint venture, and there is another entity B. Now, joint venture ke paas ek PP hai, which is recorded at 100. Please be, pay attention. Recorded at 100. A has a 60% share in the joint venture. B has a 40% share in the joint venture. Now, using, so let's say this is a separate entity. Using proportionate consolidation, this PP is already appearing in my books at 60 rupees. Yes. Are barabar kane? Now, it is possible that A limited buys this PP from the joint venture. So, student kya entry pass karta hai? Let's say they buy this PP at 90 rupees. Can buy it 110 as well. But let's say they buy it at 90 rupees. Can buy it 110 also. Then we will say entry hona chahiye PP account debit 110 to bank, PP account debit 90 to bank 90. Is that correct? Why no? Because 60 is already there in my books. It is already there in my book. So, the transactions are treated as purchase, not of the entire PP. It is treated as purchase of the balance 40% share. For the entire amount, if I am paying 90, 90 may say 40%, that is 36. Jo share mera nahi hai, I am paying that. So, to this, I will add, I will say, ke bhai, hai. to this, the PP purchase is it is like share of B in the PP purchased. So, this will be 90 into 40 percent that comes to what? 36 and hence your total comes to what? 96. 
अभी यहां पे अ स्टूडेंट माइट गेट कंफ्यूज ही विल से के सर आई एम तो पेइंग 90 रुपीस ओनली आई एम नॉट पेइंग 96 हाउएवर मे बी देयर इज सम अनरियलाइज्ड लॉस यू डोंट रिकॉग्नाइज अनरियलाइज्ड प्रॉफिट यू डोंट रिकॉग्नाइज अंडर इट्स एन इंटरकंपनी ट्रांजैक्शन 60 तो आपका ही शेयर है द जॉइंट वेंचर हुज अ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म इज परचेस्ड एन एसेट वाज वन सपोनो टाइम दे मस्ट हैव परचेस्ड एसेट वाज 100 100 में से 60 आपका पैसा है now you don't recognize losses till the time they realize you don't recognize profits that they are realized yes. so when i am recognizing if i say ke chalo 90 pe pura recognize kar dete then i am recording a loss of 6 also in my books yes. but as a matter of fact i have not sold the 60% of land it is like saying ke maine ghar kharida put it simple maine ghar kharida i purchased a house with one of my partners i purchased a house for 100 rupees today the market value of the house is 90 रुपीस टू दे मार्केट आई सो मेरे बुक्स में तो पहले भी वो 60 पे दिख रहा था अभी भी 60 पे दिखेगा मियरली बिकॉज आई एम परचेसिंग माई पार्टनर शेयर एट 90 इंटू फोर्टी परसेंट दैट इज थर्टी सिक्स डज नॉट मीन आई विल रिकॉग्नाइज लॉस ऑन माई शेयर टिल द टाइम आई सेल द हाउस वेन आई सेल द हाउस एंड एक्चुअली करो नाइनटी पे बिकता है इन माई बुक्स इट इज शोन एट नाइनटी सिक्स दैट इज वेन आई विल शेयर रिकॉग्नाइज एंड रिकॉग्नाइज लॉस आर वी क्लियर विद दिस दी अदर वे ऑल्सो अप्लाइज इफ ए इज सेलिंग the property to the joint venture when a sells it yahan pe kya ho raha hai joint venture is selling to a but it is possible that a is selling to the joint venture yes. a pp worth 100 in my books i am selling at 90 yes. in the joint venture this will appear at 90 yes. but bachche bole ke sir that means i have sold the entire pp no i have sold only 40% share My PP 60% is still with me. Proportionate consolidation will still come. Sir, will I do 19 to 60%? No. If I do 19 to 60% proportionate consolidated, then I will recognize the underlying loss, which I can't recognize till the time the asset is actually sold to an outsider. So this transaction will be treated as sale of 40% in the PP. Acha, that 40% in your books was worth 40. You sold it at 36, and hence there will be a 4 rupee loss, not the entire 10 rupee loss. That is in essence what it tries to say. Thankfully, institute ne iske upar koi detailed sums dalay nahi hai. I don't even think that it will come. But if it does, there is one example which they have put in. So you should be aware that by aisa kuch ho sakta. A and B established a separate vehicle that is J. Wherein each operator has a fifty percent ownership interest, and each takes fifty percent of the output. Okay, fifty-fifty. Yes. On formation of the joint venture, A contributed a property with fair value of hundred and ten, and agreed to contribute his experience over the years towards the venture. And B contributed equipment worth one twenty crores. and the carrying values of contributed assets were 180 crore respectively let us focus on a now when i look at a a is transferring an asset which is having a fair value of 110 and a carrying value of 100 so technically a would show an overall gain of 10 rupees But I am transferring to a joint venture in which I myself have a fifty percent share. So, I am betting that it will be ten rupees. Where did it happen? You first sell it in the outside market at hundred and ten. If the joint venture is able to sell it in the outside market at hundred and ten, yes. But till that time, what you have done is you have just show, sold your fifty percent share, yes. and hence the profit will be five. Unrealized will be another five. So, in your books, you will say that by my share, which is hundred of asset. Hai, i am giving up 50% yes okay and hence the remaining asset will continue to appear at 50 rupees and i will record a gain of 5 5 not of 10 rupees yes. the remaining 5 is unrealized so the gain over here if i go to see a share in the fair value of the assets contributed by the entity so this is ye jo b ne contribute kiya this is 60 A share in the carrying value of assets contributed by A to the joint venture. This is fifty, and hence the gain to be recognized overall is ten. So here, so I have taken one thing. You also take for B. So when I look at B, B is transferring something which is worth how much? The carrying value of assets are eighty, and B is contributing an equipment worth 
120. So over here 120 and abhi B K books mein agar apan dekhe, to B K books mein 120 into 50 percent. That will be 60. It is treated as if B is transferring asset worth 60. This is in general. B is transfer. Ye yahan pe inhone kiya nahi hai. They have not asked individual. They have done total. So B is transferring assets worth 60. And corresponding to that, uh, in its books, B had shown at 80. So actually, you know, 40 on a chair. But 40 you will not recognize. You will say 40 may say 50% is unrealized. Remaining 50 is realized. And hence you will recognize to the extent of 20 only. What have they shown over here? They have shown overall. Ke bhai, A jo de hai, A is gain in the CFS. What A is giving? A is giving up its share. Ultimately, 1 is to 1 ratio. Ho hai. So, what A is giving up is 100 uh, uh, in its books. It is What it is what is done over here? This is a different case. We have case both of them together. So what is happening is A is giving up an asset. This is a different case, okay? But A ko ek bhi naya rupya nahi mil raha. What is A getting in return? A is getting a share in asset of B. So what A is giving up is an asset. Achha. In its books. The asset is worth 100. Is it giving up the entire asset? 50%. 50 so, this is 100 into 50% comes to 50. 50. In return, it will now proportionately consolidate B's assets. Yeah. Joint venture mein gaya. Yeah. So, some PP. Achha, in our example, we were saying that we are selling and we cash. Here yeah. there is no cash coming. It is PP coming. PP contributed by B. Achha, PP contributed by B in the joint venture is worth how much? Usme A ko share mil gaya 50%. 60. And hence the 10 rupees is again if you want you can just put this entry on the example. So in the books of A I am giving up 50% of my share. But in return I am getting an asset of 120. Jisme mein ko 50% share mil raha. And hence the gain over here which will go in PNL is 10 rupees. Are we clear with this? Okay. So, this is a fairly interesting case if this comes in the exam. Uh, it's a numerical one. So, we like, probably institute likes the numerical questions. So, this is done. And I think uh, that's it. If I look at the MCQs, state which of the following statements are incorrect. Okay. First, requirements relating to accounting for joint ventures in consolidated statements According to proportionate consolidation method as compared to as per AS27 applies only when consolidated financial statements are prepared by the venture. Yeah. Yes, this is correct. You will prepare only when CFS are to be prepared. The requirements related to accounting for joint venture in CFS according to proportionate consolidation as, con as per AS27 applies irrespective of whether CFS are prepared by venture or not. No, they will apply only if CFS is prepared. Yeah. This seems to be wrong. An investor in a joint venture which does not have joint control should report its interest in joint venture in the consolidated statements in accordance with either AS 13, 21 or 23 as the case may be. So, if I do not have joint control and if I am just a passive investor then AS 13, if I have significant influence then AS 23, if I have control then AS 21, is this also correct? So, your answer should be ideally 0.2. Identify which of the following is not a feature of a jointly controlled operation not a feature. Each venture has his own separate business. Wo ho sakta. Jointly control operation, operation is like we were having a partnership with a CFA or a CA, uh, CMA institute. There is a separate entity for joint venture business. No. So, this is clearly not a feature. You can review the other things as well. Each venture records his own transactions without separate set of books. Perfect. There is a common agreement that is there. So, your answer should ideally be B. Identify which of the following is are not a feature of jointly controlled assets okay first there's a separate entity no no again this is not a feature Ajah. there's common control over joint assets yes expenses on jointly controlled assets are shared by ventures as per contract yes i do share it in the finance statements the venture shows only their share of assets and total income along with total expenses incurred by them so it is only their share so your answer should be 0.1 only a 
आइडेंटिफाई विच इज और आर फीचर्स ऑफ अ जॉइंटली कंट्रोल्ड एंटिटी यहाँ पे ढूंढना है विच आर द फीचर्स तो यहाँ पे होना चाहिए एंटिटी इन द मिडल जनरली सो वेंचर क्रिएट्स अ न्यू एंटिटी फॉर द जॉइंट वेंचर बिजनेस इज दिस करेक्ट अच्छा ऑल वेंचर पूल देयर रिसोर्सेस अंडर द न्यू बैनर and this entity purchases its own assets create own liabilities expenses are incurred by the entity itself yeah. is this also a feature yeah. Yeah. seems to be acha the revenues and expenses of the entity are shared by the venturers in the ratio agreed upon in the contractual agreement so over here is this also a feature acha yahan pe Which are the features of a jointly controlled entity? Ideally, it should be all only. So I think, I think यहाँ पे इन्होंने आंसर ही नहीं दिया. There is some. This is. I think maybe so third is the only place where it is the in revenues and expenses are revenues and expenses of the entity only. So maybe that यहाँ पे not रहता था, which are not features that should be better because even the third case. Yes, there is a jointly controlled entity, but otherwise, in the jointly controlled entity, the revenues and expenses also expense of the jointly controlled entity. Same point, point number three. हाँ, तो वो ही होगा. Probably there is a misprint here. So maybe point one, two, and three. That's the only thing. Maybe. अच्छा, identify the correct statements. We are looking at the correct statements. From the date of discontinue, अच्छा, we did not really discuss about discontinuing. When will you discontinue proportionate consolidation? Usually, when you lose joint control. From the date of discontinuing the use of proportionate consolidation method, if the interest in the entity is more than fifty percent, such joint venture should be accounted for in accordance with AS twenty one CFS. So over here, identify the correct statements. Do you think sub point one is correct? If you are If you had a joint venture and now you are acquiring the other partner's stake, you are discontinuing joint venture. Then probably this appears to be right. Acha, if interest is twenty percent and more, but up to fifty percent, investments can be accounted for in accordance with AS twenty three. This is also appearing to be correct. Acha, next you have for all other cases you treat as per AS thirteen. This is also correct. For the purpose of fair value, the fair value of investment at the date on which joint venture relationship ceases to exist should be recorded as cost. That is not necessary. So this is not necessary that the fair value has to be taken. And as a result, over here your answer can be B. Otherwise, there are theory questions. When is a venture required to discontinue? Cases when AS twenty four does not allow proportion. You can just review them. They are theory cases of exceptions. And I think. Uh, that should take care of the joint venture part as well so the newly added topics i would say that it is largely employee benefits which is a little taxing maybe to some extent impairment but still impairment is scoring impairment is also the newly added topic but i'm quite certain that you are going to get exam questions from these five newly added topics associates and joint ventures are actually relatively easy even interim financial reporting is relatively easy as 25 it is as 28 to some extent But will be manageable at twenty fifteen. You need to put in some more effort, and I think you should be uh, good to go, and uh, uh, that should be it. Yeah. Okay.